Honestly, this shit better than no stylus, not gonna lie. Well, today we're gonna talk about Destroy Lonely's new album, If Looks Could Kill, it dropped literally today, so here's what I think about it. If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new songs in the description. So this thing dropped today and I've gave it one listen so far. And this is what I usually do with these reviews. Now I give my first impression. It's not really like a review. It's more of a first reaction after my first listen to this, because I do feel like after the first listen, you get somewhat of a unique point of view of an album and then you need to listen to it a couple of more times to form like a really you know foundational review of it and actually have some sort of idea of what you're talking about in depth of it but today since the drop today we're only going to give my first thoughts on this so this thing dropped it is his second studio album after no stylus which dropped in i think august or september of last year and was definitely a big breakthrough for him because you know before that it was kind of like a little singles popping off bane was going crazy like 2020 around that time but then really no stylus with the title track no stylist obviously being carried a lot by by tiktok and the likes that really made him blow up to the level where he's at right now i mean he's infamous for all the shows he's doing he's kind of seen as the new playboy cardi out of the three signed artists to opium homicide gang ken carson and him he's the one that i see most likely following in the footsteps of cardi not to discredit ken or homicide gang but this thing dropped together with the support of the self-titled single or the if looks could kill single that was also a leak before he got officially released and then he capitalized off of the success of that leak and dropped it as a single is doing pretty well so far one of his most successful commercial songs and definitely helped carry this album and make this album into the infamous piece that it is among his fans and the song itself is pretty good i like the single if looks could kill and i think he made the right move to kind of like Go with the album right around like to what now two three months after dropping the single that being said though this bitch is 26 tracks and almost one and a half hours in runtime and as i was sitting through this i gotta admit it wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be which is definitely a positive aspect that means it didn't get boring but towards the later leg of the album you know, you kind of notice that it's been one and a half hours that you were sitting there and listening to the record. But nonetheless, a lot of highlights on this track list. I did talk about the leaks in my video, everything that we know about this album, where I went into the different leaks that we had and I gave you all my favorites of the leaks. And then we could see which ones actually made it onto the track list. And so I do like that this thing starts out with how you feel, which is one of the most complete leaks that we got prior to this release and definitely an amazing song and i feel like this one could also be carrying this album a little bit together with the second track the title track if looks could kill and i think he made this strategically so that those two beginning opening tracks are going to be the biggest tracks you know because nobody's going to sit through the entire 26 tracks or at least i'm not saying nobody because i did but most people that are just tuning in to see what he's doing now are not going to do that and the next five or six tracks i really really enjoyed i mean all the way maybe all the way up to like by the pound or all the time where every track had a little bit of like its own unique vibe to it i mean fly shit with that little bit more you know chopped up hook on there which one a leak that we got raver was a shorter track that i that liked a lot as well came with it as well a lot more aggressive on this one and then it said by the pound all the time but then it kind of starts to lose itself at some point where the tracks that you're listening to it being a 26 track track list kind of flow into each other that especially becomes problematic towards as i said the later leg of this album when we go into tracks like i would say anything after brazy girls where it's kind of it's one muddy group of songs that i would need to listen to a, a bunch of more times to really make out the individual you know highlights of it going up maybe was a little bit of a highlight but i really didn't like passenger promo slowed it down even more worth it and red light were just he could have just cut that he could have cut a lot of fat off of these a lot of fillers on there to be honest with you um so that's kind of like it was kind of given with the 26 track track list but still 
you can cut some cut some fat off of this track list. But I get what he's doing here, and I mean, it is pretty commendable that he's going full solo on this one, which I do think is important because he didn't rely on a Cardi feature. There was a bonus track with Ken Carson, the last track, Money and Sex, that was also a leak before that I do like. It's nothing too crazy. We had Veteran on No Stylist already as well, but still a nice little track, but he's still trying to build his big core fan base that is now also swapping into the mainstream with a full solo project or almost full solo project before relying and touching into and tapping into the playboy cardi features which i do think is a very good thing because then when he gets that cardi feature is gonna go up and it's never gonna come down a couple more highlights for me on this thing definitely moment of silence amazing track i think this track is a perfect example also of something that i like about this album which is that all of the tracks are not like short tracks all the tracks are above three minutes in length almost all of them i'm not saying all of them but the majority are above three minutes in length which does make it maybe difficult to sit through a couple of these because you're like another three minutes of one of these new generation sounds that you've kind of been swamped with over the past half year but he does manage to make it enjoyable which is a very good thing and moment of silence definitely one that i'll be going back to a lot i said i like the brazy girls leak in that other video now listening to it like in its full version not so much anymore a lot of other tracks in here that were way better but still a solid track and now i do think that destroy lonely is gonna be somewhat of the next playboy cardi i mean even with the look even with the whole like tall skinny really into fashion type of dude that he's going for that full like fashion vibe he is mentioning a lot of fashion on this album even though sometimes in like a surface level one not like a you know like an asap rocky that's like really into it that much i'm not trying to say he's not he's pro he probably is he mentioned one walking on that paris fashion week as a model stuff like that which you know dub to him if he can do that if he can pull that off um so i'm definitely interested in seeing also where he's going with the fashion he did say in an interview with complex i believe that that was definitely something that he wanted to also dabble in a little bit more but as i said kind of a summary of this i like that he focused on making each individual track a little more unique a little more characteristic and giving it a little bit more personality that's something that he said in an interview as well he said that no stylist that album was basically he had the title track the bitch i wake up no stylist you know the one and then the album was kind of just copies of that just going off of the vibe that he said with that single and then the rest of the album followed this time around i think he managed to actually put together an album that is in itself cohesive but still very much different from track to track from the first track to the last he could have cut a lot of fat i believe he could have went well with a sub 20 track list but it is what it is maybe on the next one when he's not trying to still like put on the, the 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 fans that he's not building with this one so i'm really excited to see where this goes in the future definitely a very good album you know if i was fantana right now i'd be being like i'm feeling it like i don't know what i would give this like a 6.5 out of 10 should i start giving it like ratings now because i feel like that would be interesting so this one is a 6.5 out of 10 with a tendency towards up depending on what he does in the future let me know what you think about this though are you excited for what loan got coming up in the future what's your favorite track on the track list what's your least favorite track on the track list and all your thoughts and everything that you got on this please let me know in the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases make sure to subscribe turn on notifications hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly join my discord in the description until the next one you'll have an incredible day and you'll take care